What's up? We are back and I want to talk to you about one of the most important psychological principles uh, for entrepreneurs, right? But before I do that, I want to ask you to do me a favor and smash that subscribe button, like and share. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Let's talk about um, one of the most important psychological principles uh, that we can consider and we can take into account as entrepreneurs, all right? This is something that if you hold on to it for long enough, it's not gonna help you grow. It's not. It's actually gonna stop you from growing. Um, why? Because you're gonna repeat old patterns, old patterns over and over again, and it's just not conducive, right? To scaling, it's not conducive um, to performing better, to improvement, to putting together a team and getting out of your comfort zone. And it can really stop you from getting that traction that we need as entrepreneurs, as business owners, especially when we're putting together a team, right? And that's anchoring biases. Anchoring biases, it's holding on to old thought patterns, uh, just old ways of thinking, all right? You're anchored into a particular uh, way of thinking, into a particular perspective or way of processing uh, information and thoughts, meaning that all the past learned behaviors are guiding you to, uh, to react a certain way right, to take action, and you get a challenge thrown at you, and uh, you have a specific way of responding to it because of everything that you have learned in the past, right? Now, what that forces you to do is to create psychological anchors on all this, you know, information, right? And so now you have trained yourself, per se, for lack of a better term, you have trained yourself to respond in a, in a specific way. Now, that's all fine and dandy because we're wired to uh, process information that way, right? But it's not helpful when you're trying to grow, uh, when you're trying to scale, when you're trying to get out of your comfort zone. Why? Because those anchoring biases are gonna bring you back to, uh, to reaction mode. They're gonna bring you back to doing and responding uh, in the same manner that you have you know, every single day in the past, right? And, and that's a bad thing if uh, you're trying to grow a company. It's a bad thing if you're trying to hire people and you've never hired before. Uh, why? Because your thoughts of uh, uh, limiting beliefs, for example, if, uh, if you think that hiring may cost too much, you're gonna stop you from the hiring process and taking the leap or taking the risk to bring somebody else in. Why? Because you're used to micromanaging. You're used to running everything yourself. If you want things done right, you gotta do them yourself type of thing, right? Well, that uh, is a result of anchoring biases. We've learned how to do things progressively, right? And when we're a solo operation, that's all fine and dandy. Why? Because we gotta manage everything ourselves. But anchoring biases and, and uh, things like uh, micromanaging, things like not taking uh, educated risks, not having an open mind about solutions, will anchor you in that same space and you're not gonna be able to grow, all right? So be aware of anchoring biases and how those affect uh, your current actions, all right? How old ways of thinking, old ways of processing and keeping a closed mind will stop you uh, from growing. So uh, it, at the end of the day, it's simple, right? Our thoughts create our habits uh, and our habits create our actions. Our actions are gonna create our results. So if you follow that backwards, uh, you're gonna end up in the thoughts. If your thoughts are not wired uh, for success, if your thoughts are not wired for growth, if your thoughts are not wired to, uh, you know, for risk assessment or for thinking outside the box, and they're anchored into your original way of doing things, um, your results are gonna be linked to your original way of doing things. So it's not gonna be growth, right? Um, be aware of that anchoring biases are a very big thing to watch out for um, as entrepreneurs, especially if we're holding the visionary role, okay? Uh, we can have a lot of wishful thinking. We can, you know, look at uh, numbers coming in and all kinds of millions rolling into the bank account in our minds and everything. But if our actions are not congruent uh, with big thinking because of anchoring biases, our results are never gonna match the vision or the idea that we have. At that point, if we don't release our anchoring biases, at the, you know, at the visionary standpoint, what we have is wishful thinking. That's the reality of it, all right? So release your anchoring biases to open up that big thinking. And how do you do that? The first thing is to be aware. The first thing is to be aware of what's happening, to be aware of uh, your limiting beliefs, your anchoring biases. What am I doing um, that's based off of old ways of doing stuff? Right? What am I not being rational about? Why am I just reacting to, as opposed to giving it some thought and actual uh, logical thinking going forward? That's one, be aware of the process, uh, make a plan, and then take it day by day, all right? Your anchoring biases are not gonna break away, uh, you know, in, in a single day or in a week even. Sometimes it takes years to get over that kind of stuff uh, because we're, we're wired that way. So what we have to do is come in and psychologically rewire our thought process. Uh, and it takes a while, all right? First thing is to be aware of what's happening. The second thing is to actually make a, a functional plan, something that's realistic, some, something that's attainable, 
to the vision that you want to get to and then hold yourself accountable to that kind of stuff, right? Anchoring biases, keep that in mind. Where is that coming from? Where are my actions coming from? Where are my fears coming from as an entrepreneur? Is what I'm feeling right now or going through my head right now rational thinking, all right? Or is it triggered by something from the past, by an old fear, by an anchored bias that I already have wired into my brain? Think about that uh, when you're moving forward, when you're making decisions, when you're creating visions, and more importantly, when you're bringing your team together, all right? Uh, is the team operating under anchoring biases that you have developed throughout the years? Or is it a team that's coming up fresh that has their own way of doing stuff um, that you can actually tap into the different talents of each one of them and you know grow an actual organization out of that? All right, so keep that in mind. I hope you find that useful. Anchoring biases, all right? So subscribe, like, and share. Help me spread the love. Stay focused. You got this.